So far in our program, we program our roughing cutter to follow this profile, but because we said there's too much material here for one pass, we stepped it over and worked in closer and closer to the final size. And with the last pass, we left 25 thou for the finished tool. In this video, I want to demonstrate how we program the tool to step down with each multi-pass. But first, I want to address this issue here. With these second two cuts, we feed from an inch above the part, and that's wasting a lot of time. We don't really want to do that. And that's because here we wrap it an inch above to make sure we clear everything, and then over. So before we feed to this depth, we should add a G00 and wrap it back to 100 thou above the part. So I'll copy this, and I'll move down here to this cut as well and I'll paste it. I'll refresh the plot and now we can see we wrap it down from the one inch to 100 thou above the part and then feed down. So next, for each pass, I would like it to step down. We have three step overs. At each step over, I would like the cutter to take two depths of cut. Our part is around 400 thou thick. The 25 thou just takes the bottom of the tool past the bottom edge of the part. And what I want to add here is one cut at negative 200 thou and then one cut at 425. Well, to do that, I'm just going to cut and paste all of this here. So I'll copy it. And I'll come up here and I'll put in a few spaces so it's easy to see. And I'll paste it in the middle. So first, I'm going to change this depth to 0.2. And then I want to change this position here to this. So I'll copy. and paste that there. So what have I done? I just took all the geometry that I know cuts the part for the first roughing pass and I copied it and I changed the depth now for the first pass to be 0.2. The second pass at that same X and Y location will be 25 thou past the bottom of the part. And then the G40 that takes it back to the start, I made sure I went back to this initial position. So let's just refresh the plot and have a look. And we can see our first depth cut here at negative 0.2 and our second depth cut at negative 0.425. So I'll do the same thing for the next two passes. For this final pass, because initially we just cut the part and then we go to our end of tool sub, it's not prepared to go back to the start. I'm going to come up here to the previous tool, copy and paste this at the end of my new depth. And again, I'll reset this depth to 0.2 and I'll refresh the plot. So everything looks good. I'll just simulate it one more time. So here we see our first depth cut and the second. So each time we see our depth cut at 0.2, and then at the exact same location at negative 0.425, and we've added depth cuts to our part. In the next video, we're going to discuss how to put this into subprograms.